Namaste, it's Amber Jean. And as some of you may know, I had the opportunity uh, to study with Larry Schultz for over 10 years. And during this course of time, I traveled to San Francisco and I got to take a lot of his classes as well as assist him in his trainings. And so when I'm instructing and especially a classical rocket one or a classical rocket two, I like to instruct it the way that Larry did and the way that he did the sequencing um, to maintain some of that purity of the rocket. And so in rocket two, there's a lot less focus on the legs. And so the standing poses almost become a continuation of the warm up. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. Um, and then the heart of rocket two becomes when you jump into seat it and begin with Pashasana. Um, but we're going to focus on the standing poses today just to give you a sense of what I'm talking about. So let's come to the top of our mats and we'll start in a classical way with Utkatasana, bending the knees, interlacing hands, inhaling. Begin to breathe, heat up your core. Feel the opposing forces go a little deeper. And then lengthen your fingers forward into Ardha Utkatasana. You'll hear my Ujjayi breath, exhaling, placing the hands down. And we want to get into a position to bring the knees to the backs of the arms. So step back a little. Come up to your tippy toes, bring the knees up into the armpits, super, super high, and pull your feet up. Strong and steady. Exhale to Chaturanga. Big inhale upward. Open your shoulders. Slowly exhale to downward. Inhale, right foot forward into Virabhadrasana A. So this is a one breath hold. Exhale to Warrior B. Inhale, straighten your leg, one breath. Exhale to Trikonasana. And so this is where we hold Trikonasana for five breaths. Feeling again all the different lines of energy in your body. Gazing down, positioning hands down into twisting triangle. Right arm comes up, roll your right hip back. Good, so in the rocket system, we place the hand on the inside of the foot. This is different than classical Ashtanga because we want to stack the shoulders and get out of a wrong or right way to do the asana. Exhaling hands to earth, slide your left foot back about four feet, bend your knee and now reach into Utita Parshvakonasana, gaze towards palm. Lengthen from your heel to your fingertips. And then ground down and raise up, inhaling. So we raise to warrior A, and we move to twisting prayer. You can warm up your shoulders by wrapping the right arm behind you and binding. Exhaling, gaze down. 
and step back. So notice we're not adding in a whole bunch of extra variations. We're keeping it pretty pure. Elbows come in, exhale. Upward facing, inhale. Downward facing, exhale. Good, and then coming down to our forearms for rocket two. Working on dolphin. Or for rocket two, we come right up into elbow stand. So let's see if we can do a double leg jump, okay? So we wanna step in, we wanna visualize the pose. Bending knees and jump. There we go. Nice and straight. Work your core. Good, and then bending the knees. This also helps strengthen your core. And you can come into a child's pose. Exhaling, lifting into downward facing. Stepping left foot forward, inhaling Virabhadrasana A. Exhale B, so this is part of the warm up. Straightening our leg, engage the leg muscles. And exhale to Trikonasana. Gaze up, clear your mind. Exhaling, gaze down, squaring hips. God, remember the hand places on the inside of the foot. Reach, stack the shoulders. Reach up with the fingertips a little higher. Twist a little deeper. Letting go from the inside out. We're gonna release the left hand down. Keep it on the outside edge of the foot. Slide back, lunge, and reach to side stretch. Reaching and turning. Opening to new experiences. Practicing the classical poses in Ashtanga. Raising back up, inhale. Square forward reach. Into twisting prayer. Good for the shoulders to take the hand behind you and work on binding. So even just sliding the hand down, okay? You wanna to start to just get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Let your back heel come up and then push it back down if it does. Play with your balance. Exhaling, gazing down. Hands place, step back to Chaturanga. Lower, upward. Exhale, push to downward. Good, second variation of elbow stand is to take a wide split. So you might wanna turn on your mat because you're gonna be preparing for rocket splits. So forearms down, spread the legs apart. Rock back and forward. So sometimes just rocking back and then up to your big toes will give you that floating sensation. Good, roll forward, take it up. Good, if you are in split, see if you can bring your legs together for strength. 
Take them wide again. Bring them down. And exhale. Good. So from here, we would practice going into handstands. And then we would practice going into proseritas and rocket splits. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the standing poses of Rocket 2. Remember, do your practice and be inspired. Namaste.